There we go. How are we doing? I know I said I would be drawing, but I want to finish the sketch layout for the thing I'm doing first. I want to I want to feel like we have some more concrete progress made before I start doing that. So. So there's so that's that on that. Stream that to the chat. There we go. Oh, we're all good. It's Ghostwire time. I need to. Oh, I need to turn the sound back on because I was watch, I was listening to podcasts and doing side quests. Fucking tasty. Me out here chugging guacamole gamer fart. Uh. Oh, there we go. Uh, you shouldn't be hearing any audio because I have the I had the fucking I had the sound turned off. So let me uh, sound. Can we hear? Can we hear the game sound now? I hope so. Oh wait, no, I need to go to my map, hang on. Uh... All of God is really is a cult with a franchise. <gasps> Thank you for the subscription, Zenny. I appreciate it immensely. Uh, let's go do our mission. So I did a little level grinding, did a little side quests, and by a little side quests, I mean literally all of them. Uh, <laughs> I did uh, all of the... Uh, I did all of the Jizo statues, and I did all of the Tanuki. Um, so I'm... I'm, uh, stacked. I am locked, cocked, and ready to rock. Uh, so we're gonna go do the main quest now. Put in a lot of fancy upgrades, did a lot of stuff, so we're gonna go we're gonna go do some main quest shit. Okay. Now I do wanna Cause there's aha! I see you. I was gonna say there's an artifact in here that I want. A little late today. The fog here is so thick I don't even want to walk outside. I want to just wait here a bit until it clears. Ooh. Give. Ooh. Corruption. That means there's a. Ooh. Ooh, shit. No. Problem. Did they ping anything else? No, he did not. Ah, uh, shit. I can't get a clear shot. There we go. There we go. Oh, she's tough. Oh, she's tough. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. This is corruption, though. Where's the tree? Yo, 
was about to say, stand still. Cast your... No, it's fine. Cast your thing. It'll be fine. Uh, blah, blah. We want to do this. Clear all the corruption. <gasps> Give me that! Give me those! <laughs> yes. Give me my quest items. Give me my side quest items so that I can turn them into the cats. I was told by our dear friend Brooke that there were only six chapters to this game, so that means that we're getting pretty close to being done. Hit the- there we go. Running out of original ways to say Fox enters chat room, but yeah. <laughs> It's all right. You don't need to be original every time. It's nice to see you. Welcome to chat. Oh, you're too far in. There you are. Whack. Ooh. Can I? It says, what was that noise? Nothing. That noise was nothing. You heard and saw nothing. You saw and heard nothing. There we go. Is it this? No, it's not this. Ooh. Those will be good later, I'm sure. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. I need those. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really gonna need you to- I'm gonna need you to not! Please. 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 Oh! Please! Oh, come on. Oh, how are you not dead yet?! Please. Oh my god. Oh god! Oh god! She's gonna separate me, gang gang, fuck! Okay, well. Oh, well, shit! <laughs> Please don't put me at the beginning of this area. I'm begging you. Please. Please don't put me back at the beginning again. Load times are long today. That's weird. Uh, let me close that. And close some other tabs, see if that'll slow those down. Normally my load times aren't this long. Picking up some speed. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm sorry for the crumching. I'm having a having a little snack. not normally have performance problems like this with this game. That's weird. Do 
So it is gonna start me at the beginning of this area. Fuck. Hang on one second, let me check my... Let me check my... Task manager, see what the fuck is running? It's making my camera on so slow. Nothing. Nothing. It's not running any more than usual. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. I wonder what could be up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the they're gonna show up and the power's gonna die. There it is. Alright. Let's see. Well Nope. I have not. Silence. Shut your whore mouth. Nobody saw shit. Curly's here. Hello. Die. Thank you. I will pick those up. Uh, Alright. Let's try and... Instead of doing going all the way around, because I know where those shoes are now, so I can go back for those in a sec. But yeah. bless you. Thank you. Oh. Give me the old end. Thank you. Aha! Uh -huh. Weird. Me right. Ooh! Gimme. Ah, ah! I got it. Alright. Lights are back on. No, I still need to go back here because I need those shoes for my side quest. Hear me out. Uh, what if... What if, what if, what if, possibly, distinctly possibly... Uh... Oh, I don't have anything good. Fuck, well... Come on, come on! Well, alright, well, fuck. Come on. Come on. Ooh, got her. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah. Happy to see all of my regulars. I'm always happy to see my regulars, Wing. Give me your core, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the central. Waba. Onion, 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 onion. <laughs> I see. <laughs> How are you doing? I was waiting to see if I, I I hopped in here wanting to see if, if how long it would take you for to notice. I can't look at the uh the chat because I'm. I know. I know. So when I saw that you were in the middle of a battle, my eyes lit up a little bit. I was like, ah, I get to do the thing. You can sneak. 
peak Susie stealth? I mean, the one character that I have in D&D currently is a rogue, so, shrug. <laughs> True enough, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I get anything yes. extra for clearing all of this, but I'm gonna. Ooh. Could use more fire charge. Thank you. Uh, I got the only two things that are down here. Oh, well. Consider. Consider the following. Die. Well do. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here that I'm missing? No, just some money. Okay. Just some makeup. I got the two artifacts that are in here, and then I think I'm done. Alright, cutscene time. <laughs> so you may notice! Nice. <laughs> awesome. I did the- I finished the Tanaki quest, and this was my reward. <laughs> nice. So I just, I thought it'd be funny. Ooh. Oh, I thought this meant I was gonna get to run over ghosts with it. God, it looks so fucking funny! <laughs> it looks so fucking silly. It's like a dead rising cutscene, yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's dead! I love that. I love that Ed's just like, ah, it'll just call every like 45 minutes or so. aggressively tapping on the top of the fucking phone. It's so good. Alright. Character looking like they'd speak Animal Crossing. <laughs> Find stuff, poggers. All right. Uh, I'm gonna change my outfit now. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't like being the character that looks like Animal Crossing? 
<laughs> Listen, I do. It's really funny, but I, I can't take the cutscenes even a little seriously. <laughs> Your own face, like all others in the world, it is perfect. I like the the rimless glasses; they're cute. Uh, this is cool. Uh, let's so see. have I yet told you that I did the thing? Oh, uh, what thing? The thing where I just uh. Re uh, like rebrand my streams. Oh yeah, I saw. Just went and did it. Um, yeah, I raided you the other day. I saw. I thought it was Justin. I was playing with Justin. Right. Alright, I like Ed. Ed's cool. Right. <laughs> I was about to say, which character are we talking about? Avi? <laughs> that does feel like Avi. <laughs> mm. Fair. <laughs> I will build- I will build my own Roomba out of spite! <laughs> Put right. more effort into not doing the work. <laughs> I mean, I guess, huh? It's funny, yesterday was Ellie was talking about that South Park episode, and now Heaton's a tonicky. A lot of big balls. It's true. The fattest of nuts. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. Uh... Hang on, I need to turn in my shit. I think it's you who wanted the shoes. It is you who wanted the shoes. Yes! Uh, poggers. And then it's the Japanophile Nekomata who wanted the Akabeko, I think. I think, I think, I think, and then I think I'm done. Then I think I've done all of these quests as well. No, you weren't the one who wanted the Akabeko? Who wanted the Akabeko? Was it you, maybe? Reminds me of how Final Fantasy XV has a mariachi costume for Noctis. It's true. Uh, who wanted the fucking Akabeko? Weapon nerd, wasn't you. Uh, maybe it was you? Ghosty. No. Who the fuck was the one who wanted it? Doll fanatic? Maybe? It is kind of a doll, I guess. I don't know. Which one of you stupid cats wanted the... There, it was you. Ame Uh... No, okay. Is that it? I think that's it. No, there might be more later, actually. I might be stupid, it's fine. I might be stupid, it's a distinct possibility, but I think I got them all. I got- I got all the ones I can get, I think. So I think the only thing that's left is to do the, uh... Um... God, what the fuck are they called? The... Um... Magatama. I think they're the only ones that are left. And then I think once those are done, I think I've done all the side content. This is my favorite thing in these, like, open world ARPGs. I love the, like... I love the collecting stuff all over a huge map-based gameplay. 
I don't know why, it's just something I've always liked. For someone who normally fucking hates tedium in game like tedium in games like this, like like I spent just hours like just dicking around with like all of the side content in this game, just finding things and bringing them to the cats and finding all the Jizo statues, etc. I was gonna say, it's like, if, if the, the thing is, like, exploring the world for collectibles and shit, do I have a, do I have a recommendation for you? What is it? It's called Saints Row. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the, um, there's something about, like, having a place like this with a cool, where, like, everything is kind of cool and empty and vertical, and you can just go all over the place. And you can just fucking find things. I like that. Oh, then the recommendation would be Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. <laughs> I was gonna say, because in the, um... Although the new Spider-Man probably would also have that too, so... In... The I did all of those in the, in the new Spider-Man too. The, the funniest thing is... Um, my favorite meme... Is that I... Uh... I'm 50% of the way through the game, I've done two story missions. Because I just, I yeah. did, I did all of the backpacks, and then all of the scenery locations, and then all of the, um, uh, all of the Black Cat missions, all of the towers. Like, I just, I love that shit. That's, I could play a whole video game that's just that shit. And I'd never get bored of it if you had, like, fun combat like this. Because every so often, right, there's uh, just, there's people around. There's still stuff to do. So as long as you've got stuff to do, and there's the occasional, like, little random combat encounter to keep things spiced up, keep your brain moving while you're moving from place to place, it's pretty fun. I like it. Spider Heaton couldn't exist. She gets too sidetracked by stuff. It's true. I could start... I mean, as far as, like, just... Go ahead. As far as just going around and collecting things, like, there's a genre for that, and I have wanted to help you get into it for a while now. Your collectathon platformers? I have offered. I'm willing to give it a shot. I have offered to help. There's something that just scratches the right parts of my brain about, like, about I need you to I need you to get me thing bring me thing. I was about to say as far as like oh, fuck, actually, as that? far as collectibles go, a lot of a lot of genres of games that I really like because I've also really like puzzle exploration, which does that. Mm-hmm. Me too. Although the problem with puzzle, with recommending any puzzle exploration games to you is you have the the thing about like I push it on the sleeve. Motion sickness. I could design, um, I could design a spider heaton if you wanted. I have, I have a rough idea. If that's something you'd be interested in. We still need to see the, the, what was it, the Malibu heaton and bimbo tones. I told you, once you get to 50 <laughs> subs, I'll, I'll show you Malibu heaton. I have, like, one of the benefits of, like, specifically the person that I want to commission for a model is that they do, like, a base model and then do outfits on top of it. So I can have them do my 3D model and then- oh, it's this building, I'm a fucking idiot. Um. Uh. So I can just design a bunch of outfits, and then as I get more money, I can... Mm, I do need to go, actually, to a convenience store before I go in here. I'm running low on shit. Do it. I'll do no such thing. Fuck you, KK. Oh, I should probably Actually, grab with the little... 
with the little dolls, uh, mm -hmm. on the note of, of Malibu Heat and Bimbo Tones, on the little dolls, mm -hmm. uh, are you gonna want a, a reference of the new, new Avatar, or do you just plan to keep it this way? Whichever you want. If you want me to, if you want me to update it for more, like, cohesive branding, I can update it for you, it's no problem. I don't really care one way or another. Like, the one that you currently have is, is by all means, my Sona. It's the one that I use for most everything else. No, I'll just leave it. Where's the nearest one to me? Here? Okay. I need to go shopping. It's kind I need of, some things. It's kind of the thing that I've, I've... In all honesty, like, what was it? Crafty might might nudge me at the the fact that I I'm inconsistent with my branding and and like all over the place with the characters but really when you break down each of my platforms there's at least one face per like area yeah like <clears throat> for the most part it's my Sona for YouTube it's Elizabeth for Twitch it's now the alchemist character no. I think there's plenty of cohesion. Also, your art style is pretty unique. For better or worse. I love your art style. I think your art style is really cute. Susie, your art style is cute. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like your... One of the things that I like about your art, like a genuine critique... Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Um but um some like some like genuine art critique. I like that your art style uh has been like has been like um forming itself more like it's um fuck. like i've noticed that your um uh like your art style is uh is becoming more it's becoming less like Accommodating an, an inability to draw and more like refining itself into an actual like full-fledged art style. I think you're starting to make, uh, there's just starting to be more <clears throat> details in your artwork that make it more your own than imitating something simplistic. And I like it. I don't follow, but all right. It's kind of hard to explain. I think you're finding a- I think the- the easiest way to sum it up is that I think you're finding a concrete style that is more your own. And I think you're refining it and making your work more unique. I like it. That might not be a good explanation, but it's all I got. Goes, man, what was that noise? And then I shoot him in the face a second time. Okay, so it's this building on the left. So I have to get in here? Uh, get to the roof of this building. I There's mean, no way in. So there was a like... there was a fire escape thing a little bit there back there. Yeah, I saw. I'll use that. I just didn't know if I was supposed to go inside or go up. But it looks like I am supposed to go up. Oop. Um, no. Oh, I'm. Oh, I was about to say stuck, but no, I'm not. Uh. There we go. Hmm? Huh? Oh.
Heaton crossing over with Malibu Heaton, Kitten Mitsuru, and Spider Heaton into the Heaton verse. I just like the idea of having uh, more than one outfit. Okay. Ooh, what? Oh, I've got a. Oh, okay. Underworld interference. I'm seeing some spirits I need to pick up. I mean, there's a flying dude right there. No, he's just a. Praying? No, that's just a Tengu. He's just hanging out. He's hanging out. He's minding his own business. Uh, nothing on the streets. Oh! Aha! That's probably something. <laughs> Alright. It is sort of what we are doing, yes. Uh, that's here. All right, let's go across these buildings first because I want to get these spirits. Boop. Eyes everywhere. I'm super curious about what the fuck is going on. Because, like, we've not gotten a lot of, like, in, like, a, I don't want this to sound like a, a complaint, because it's not. Because, like, I'm super into the mystery. Something's here. Rain's going upwards. Uh, that means there's a Terutoro Bozu around here someplace. Yeah. That was gonna be my guess. Keep scanning the skyline for him, but I don't see him. He's right there, but I don't know how I get more up. It looks like I need to go that way. Hmm? Oh. Oh, oh god. That was almost bad. The warp in the west. Uh, let's just fall straight down. No, okay, so if I fuck this up, it's fine. Alright. No. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Ooh! Nice headshot. I'm hearing more of them. I don't want them to interfere while I do this. They might be farther down. Crossing. I I would need to know what kind of costumes you would want to see. Fuck, mister. God damn it. Can 
Consume your own penis, you ugly freak. Oh, mister. Ah, <laughs> what's good? Quick scoped. Give me your car parts. Give me your kneecaps. Fuck. I mean hubcaps. I mean hubcaps, not not kneecaps. Hubcaps. <laughs> uh. uh oh. Yukiona! Oh, God damn it! So, the fuck? The fuck is up with my vision? That's what I'm asking. I thought you had an answer. I do not know what's going on. Where okay. the well, fuck am I, dog? Uh. I don't know where I am. There's KK. Oh, that's why this is right here. Okay. Spectacular. Just missed. Bada bingus. Bada bingus. Hey. I'd rather you stop and fuck with me. I'd appreciate that. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh fucking shit. Oh, I can't parry. Like at all. Alright, poggers. Great. Very good. Hey, bud? If you could do literally anything to assist in this, it'd be spectacular. I'd appreciate it fucking immensely, because as it stands, this is doing next to fucking all. Fuck. to worry about right now, huh?
<sighs> Dog, I hit it here on God. Yeah, inside my torso, I'd sure fucking hope. On God, on John, big smoke. I hate it here on God. On Jaw. On Big Smoke. Hmm. Browser crashed. What did I miss? Very little. I got my fucking shit kicked in. Uh, up there. Where is the nearest bird-based man? Uh, here. Let's go here. Where's my marker? There we go. How about... Her ghost got sucked that she got destroyed by balls. As is the way. Ain't that just the way of it? Happens to the best of us. My God. We actually totally probably can. Feels great to be. Uh, feels great to be fully upgraded when you do these things. <laughs> do not like those stairs. Neither do I. They give me a headache. Well. Never is. Let's do it. I'm good on shit. Go through the whole thing wearing the honor costume if you had to. Mm. Mm. Not honor uh, costume. Tanuki costume. Two completely different, like, species. I don't even know how I got that fucked up. Maybe because someone mentioned the Dead Rising earlier. I see you, fucker. Let's see if we can't... <laughs> Underworld oil? Yep. Can we Don't sell it to the it. highest bidder? We can make millions. What well, highest bidder? The the U.S. government gas prices are too high. You have to say, wasn't the story of this is that everyone's dead? Everyone's gone? Uh, dead? No, gone. Yes, we have no idea where they have vanished the fuck off to. Ooh. So what highest bidder? <laughs> I see her. I do not like her. I would like her very much to go the fuck away. It'd be nice. I don't like her. Please so, fuck off. While we're dealing with a storyline lull here, I would like to bring in the argument that David, uh, that um, 
that Jim Jimothy Buffeted uh, is not just country. He transcends all genre. And what I call Margaritaville, that I that I but entitle. He, <laughs> he transcends country is what I'm saying. His starting genre was definitely country, like how ACDC's starting genre was rock and roll. But after a while, I fully believe that the name becomes larger than the genre, thus making Jimmy Buffett, Jimmy Buffett. That's my key argument. That is my key argument. Uh, I would I will I'll give Su uh, Susie Doodle Tones the floor. <laughs> I mean, you've you've already you've already uh -oh. said that like Jimmy Buffett was country at least at some point, and yeah. to a degree, it still is. Even if he has transcended beyond it, he's still country at the end of the day. So really, at the end of the day, there's not an argument here. He's country, even if he's also Jimmy Buffett. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like. See, uh, it all depends on which album we're talking see, about here. But see that. See, that is a, see, that Wolf is gets it. Jimmy Buffett isn't country. No, Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett is country. He's not Jimmy country, Buffett. he's dad beach music. See, everyone else gets it. Everyone else country. understands. No, 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 no. Here's, here's the thing, Susie, Susie. At first, like again, I don't think anybody here can deny it. At first, Jimothy Buffeted was country. Jimothy right? of the Clan Buffett, yes. Jimothy of the still, Clan Buffett but he was country. Still, but the but moment still is. the moment no. Margaritaville came out, everything changed. changed. <laughs> He's still country. No. <laughs> you can't convince. I can't convince any of you guys because you guys would rather be wrong just for the bit. So frankly, yeah, I much. mean, no, I'm kind I of genuinely my time. disagree with you. I don't. He's not. I'm just, I'm just, cool. far, I'm just farming uh, content I, here. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, I, I figured you were. You, you weren't actually here for the argument. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's an argument. I think it's an interpretation of art. Are you, are you trying to say, Heaton? Are you trying to say country music isn't art? No, I'm trying to tell you that I think music is art, and I think the interpretation that Jimothy Buffett is Jimothy of the Clan Buffett. <laughs> Being country music is an interpretation of it. I just simply disagree. So what you're saying is Doodle Tone says country isn't... No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like looking at it in the sense that we have established genres for a fucking reason. We have, and genres can change. I mean, have you heard the radio? But you wouldn't even, understand well, country music, no idea. I mean, uh, Daedalus yeah, is yeah. saying that country music isn't art. Okay, now we found the person who doesn't think We found the person. We found the person. <laughs> Someone in their conversation was saying country music isn't art. Not since 2000. Come on, man. Have you ever heard of the dead weather? They're fucking great. Ooh. I missed. I missed completely. I missed her completely. I'm like, on, so fucking bad. Yeah, no. You, get, you guys men but yeah, you guys mentioning that genres can change. Well, what's to say that Jimmy Buffett hasn't developed a new form of country music that's still country music? Correction, it's not the dead weather. I was thinking about this against my Oh my god, like, please. Thank you. Thank you. Bring me the horizon used to be metal corp, but now they're just kinda regular rock. So that doesn't mean that what Jimmy Buffett does isn't country. <laughs> Dead South, that's what I was thinking. Because it made like, in hell will we'll, I'll be in good company, that band. Yeah, no, kind of, like here's here's the other thing too. Uh Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton has not only shaped country music for the longest time, she transcends country music of just being an awesome fucking person. Implying country musicians are bad people. 
There are a few. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like country music, like, as a genre, often consists of, like, uh, simple forms of, like, ballads and folk and, uh, and stuff like that. Like, it, it, folk lyrics, just simple harmonies, simple ballads. That's what Jimmy Buffett's entire, like, MO is. Yeah. Very simple. It, that's the point. That's the whole, like bit of, of Margaritaville in, in particular. Which again I so, believe is the moment he transcended his genre and became Jimmy Buffett, but that's me. Became the genre that we know today as but, Jimmy Buffett. As Jimothy Buffett. <laughs> Jimothy Buffett. <laughs> but that's still country. Like, even if you don't want, or even if you wanted to make the argument, Jimmy Buffett has, has ex extended beyond country and has created his own genre, it's still a sub- he has still created a subgenre of country music. Okay, so at okay. the end of the day, there's no there's no getting around it. Jimmy Buffett's country. Listen. Look, look. I'm not denying that James William Buffett is isn't country. I'm saying he's more than. I feel like this than... changes every fucking time. <laughs> Like, James William Buffett, I know, is his name, but, like, I feel like you have changed it, like, every time you've mentioned his name. Look, I'm just James... saying Jonathan Jim Jam Buffett. Jonathan Jim James Buffet. <laughs> Buffet. <laughs> all it... To be fair. J John, and then in parentheses, all you can eat buffet. <laughs> yeah, all you can eat buffet. <laughs> 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 this bitch somehow gets dumber every time we do it and That's i'm why here i love it Ooh, this is oh this is so cool fuck the fucking atmosphere in this game is the best i fucking love this game okay i have i have the idea the ultimate crossover between heaton and doodle Susie doodle tones uh a debate Moderated by myself. <laughs> <laughs> that Is already sounds like a disaster. The only time Is I will Jimmy ever Buffett do a debate country. stream. Is Jimmy that Buffett sounds country. like a disaster <laughs> waiting to happen. It's a two hour. It's, it's, it's yep. 15 minute opening <laughs> statements, then an hour of debate, then 45 minutes of a Q&A from chat. <laughs> We like to believe our, our debates are open forum here. <laughs> we do like to believe that. Whether or not they are is a matter of uh, <laughs> discussion, but we sure do In like to believe essay, it. In this essay, I will. Oh, shit. In this just, essay, just I a, won't. Just, just a three-way collab stream, fucking. Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I'm actually on Jimmy Buffett's uh, Wikipedia page. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this in like a factual statement, but this does prove my point here. So country, country rock, folk rock, trop, trop rock, calypso, easy listening, and popper on there. But you don't want to know what the num the first I would say easy listening. Genre. That's what I would have said. Yeah. Uh, the top genre which just screams my argument that Jimmy Buffett transcended country. Golf and Western. Golf? G-U-L-F. Like oh, the golf. Golf and Western. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello? Well? Yeah, the term on that, on the, the term on its own is, is just country and Western. It's just a play on that. So, so right here, music style. Buffett began calling his music drunken Caribbean rock and roll. At which disproves your statement that he was originally country. He was rock and roll. As he says in on his 1978 live album, You Had to Be There. Later, uh, Buffet uh, himself and others have used the term golf and western to describe his music style and that of other similar sounding performers. 
So you're but wrong, Dolphin, Doodle Toads. But Gulf and Western is literally a play on the form of country, uh, country and Western in the name of the. It means the that you're using like. Gulf and Western. Yes, but it means it's, that you're like. It's literally right. It's literally later in that very same uh, Wikipedia article that you're reading, Caden. <laughs> like, it's it's right there. Like. <laughs> We're doing a live a commentary critic, on Jimmy I'm, Buffett's music yeah, career. A music, like, and, and I quote, a music critic described Buffett's uh, music as a combination of tropical languor with country funkiness into what have some called the, uh, the Key West sound or Gulf and Western. The term is a play on the form of country and Western and the name of the former conglomerate Gulf plus Western. In, in, so, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Doodles and, I are gonna, Doodles and I are gonna end this argument in a fucking Denny's parking lot, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like, even... You're fucking even core, if, bitch. Even, it's like, even if you knock me to the floor, I'm still right. <laughs> you can bury me, like, but you even, cannot silence I've, me, in the immortal <laughs> words of our friend Silver Keyblade. Basically, like, I've... In the words of the artist formerly known as Silver Keyblade, now known as Partially Silver. Like, practically Silver. Like, I've, I've, I've even, I've even, I've, I've even, like, lowered the argument down to the level of, like, oh, yeah, okay, well, if Jimmy Buffett has transcended country, he has created his own subgenre of country music. Because that's just how it works. And it's like, oh, genres change. Yeah, so did country. Like, nothing that you actually have argued has actually changed anything of Jimmy Buffett being country music. God, I'm, I'm looking more at this article, and I'm a, I found the thing I'm truly offended about. The name of his fans. What do you, what do you think it should be? In my opinion, it should be the buffets. Yeah. Right? A uh, parrot head. Terrible. Terrible. Sounds like a slur. It does! It does! <laughs> it does. <laughs> the slur for people who listen to Jimmy Buffett! <laughs> <laughs> the most you specific slur like in the world. Head. Dress like a fucking dress parrot like head. we can all agree on that much. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. Uh, here's the thing. With Slipknot, it makes sense why they call their fans maggots, in my opinion. Because it's based off of the motif. All right. <coughs> Right, and the the, the 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 people who listened to Slipknot whenever they started calling their fans maggots were like losers in the first place. So it's more like taking back insults, you know? Right. Parrot head. No, <laughs> sounds, parrot, parrot wait, head. Hang on, like a slur. hang on. Okay, continue. Just oh, wanted to hear don't the dialogue. Say par it, parrot head sounds like. You're not supposed to say a specific letter, and you're only allowed to say Parrot Head if you are a fan of Jimmy Buffett. If you're not, you're not allowed to touch that phrase, you know? Man, you can't Don't say Parrot say Head with the hard P. <laughs> Don't say Parrot Head with the hard P. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Am I wrong, girly wolf pup? Am I wrong in saying Slipknot fans were losers? Does that mean that Franz and Heaton are- No, you're my legionnaires! I was so happy I finally got an opportunity to share that, because I'm, I'm so proud of that one. It's better than mine. Mine does sound like an insult. Interns. Interns. I like that, though. It's content. Oh, it's good. It, it goes great with them. Uh, well, fucking. Would have been nice. Parrot head sounds like someone you'd call that copyrights music I illegally. <laughs> I love God, that. Just a... like I would. The joke, KK, is that you're an old man. Because that's what old men do: is go to car shows. 
This is a documented fact, as someone who was raised by old men. Under all technicality. Rinko likes to dom KK. Today in this essay. <laughs> So yeah, if anybody if anybody redeems the curse fact, there you go. Jimmy Buffett fans are called parrot heads, and we all feel uncomfortable about that. What is it? Just <laughs> there's something something about it. I think it's the cons. I think it's the it's, hard consonant sounds make it feel like a fucking slur. It's like that. Oh, what was it? It's like that one game that's similar to the one that Eaton's playing now. Oh, what was it called? Parrothead sounds like someone you'd call that copyright music. You'd call that copyrights music illegally. It's true. Right. Yeah. There's a game coming out that's called Slitterhead, and that's yeah. Like Jesus. I'm so. I hate. Dog, I'm so I fucking excited. I hate that name. I'm so. F me too. But I'm so fucking excited for Slitterhead. I, I hate that name so much. Oh, okay, for, first of all, game of the year right now is still Stray, and it will be Stray until the end of the year. Nobody can change my mind. Um, Dog, I'm so fucking excited. So for those of you who are unfamiliar uh, with Slitterhead, uh, it is being made by ex-Team Silent members. Uh, and it looks so much like this, except more... Where this is leaning more into thriller, that's leaning way more into horror. The fucking body horror in that shit is insane, dude. And I'm here for it. I fucks with it. Oh, hang on. Hmm. See, the game I horror game I'm kind of looking forward to right now is the Calypso protocol. The Callisto protocol. Kalista protocol, yeah, I've heard that. His boy? Hello? Wait a minute. His boy? Hello? What? Dad? Is he a dad? Did he immediately become more attractive to me immediately? Granted, I already did want... KK is already hot, so it's fine, but like... <gasps> tell me. Tell me. Do you have kids? I'm in love with him. <laughs> Admitting she likes dads. I do! I find, uh, we, we've we talked about this before. Uh, oh, we're just repeating the, this again? For some reason, it's weird. Oh, this is a side quest. So let's pick that up. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. <laughs> I'll do that later. Uh... But yeah, the Callisto protocol is from the people who made Dead Space. I am torn. Part of me thinks it looks kind of cool, and part of me is like, I'm so fucking tired of this. I'm tired of, like, the Callisto protocol looks good, but like, I'm just not... It's more Dead Space. Yeah, it's more Dead Space, and it's, it seemed like a lot of the horror games that are coming out soon are all sci-fi, and that's not a bad thing, we've been kind of lacking in the market for a minute, so, understandable, but like, it's just not as interesting when there's so much of the same thing, oh shit. I have there we go. so much on my wish list that I'm looking forward to because there's just so much on there that's just not out yet. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to it's not a horror game, but I've been seeing um uh I keep seeing ads for and now I started following the devs, but I'm excited for a uh, potionomics. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I've been seeing those TikToks uh around. I, I will say uh, another thing I'm looking forward to right now. A dialogue-based uh, deck builder sounds pretty poggers. I'm not gonna lie. 
I'd say like a game I'm looking forward to right now would be um, what was it? Uh, Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb looks fun. Cult of the Lamb, yes. It's yeah. so cute. It's the music is amazing. I, I want to play. I, uh, I was going to say this on stream at some point as well. Uh, once we, I want to start uh, wrapping some things before I start some new stuff. So I want to finish this and then. Um, I'm gonna. The plan is to finish straight tomorrow. I'm just gonna go long and power through until we're done with it. Because from the sounds of it, there's only like, if it if it it's runs a six into hour like long game. Yeah, if it's about five or six it's hours. It's a short game. Yeah, if it's about five six hours, then I don't know if I'll have like enough to to do a third stream. So I'll just do all of it in two. But uh, um, after that, I want to finish Visage at some point, and then I want to start. Uh, I want to start another creepy game, and I'm torn because part of me really, really wants to pick up Haunted PS One. Uh, and play some of those. Thank you for the follow. Um, if, we're, if we're talking, if we're talking specifically horror games. Uh, I think the the one that I'm looking forward to is the fridge is red. I also want to pick up. Uh, Justin said he wanted me to play oh, Madison. Hi. Hello, Springer. The Autobot. Psychroma. Welcome, welcome. I, I'm also looking forward to Psychroma because that one looked very weird. I want to try. Uh, I want to try Madison. Madison is apparently also pretty short. All of the things I've seen have been, like, full playthrough, and it's been, like, two and a half, three hours. So, that might be something we can do in one sitting. That might be fun. I... <clears throat> I can't get enough of Angerfoot. I can't. Angerfoot is so fucking fun. Angerfoot looks great. I just have a ton of games. Also, like, we have to... I have to fucking play Outlast. Outlast is on my thing, and I've never played it. Also, hey, Springer the Autobot. Tormented Souls? I've never heard of that. That one I've never heard of. There we go. Yeah, with with Cults but with Cults of the Land, I feel almost obligated to grab it. It's very you. In that the protagonist is a sheep. Ah uh, there it is. No, but also it just feels like something you'd like. I uh, I mean, my biggest hang up is roguelite. Can't watch Outlast? Why not? Um. Let's fucking do it, dog. Oh! Uh, Brooke? Uh, what? Is this it? Uh, yeah, that's the point of no return. If you continue, uh, you will not be able to do those side quests. Those quests, and if you want to get the true best ending, you have to do those. Okay. Alright, let's go do them. We want the best ending, let's go do it. I thought, I, I, was, looking at, I was looking at pictures yeah. to my phone, and I thought I was in trouble. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> nope, it's time for side quests. Yeah, my, my biggest hang up about Cult of the Lamb is, is roguelike. I'm not a big fan of that genre. No? But, like, not really. To be honest, me neither. I think the only roguelike I've ever really liked was Hades. Hades is peak roguelike. It's why I don't want to play any other roguelikes. <laughs> Inscription's probably the one that I would I would point to as one that I really liked. I also want to play. I, uh, I also want to play Transistor. Is fucking is. I guess yeah. Inscription would be a roguelike, wouldn't it? Yeah, Inscription is a roguelike. Yes. It's more of a rogue light, but still. Point is, I'm not a big fan of those kind of those kind of games, but I well, really liked it. No, well, me not good. normally me either. I, I'm gonna say this in defense of Cult of the Lamb. I think it's more rogue light than rogue like, if that makes sense. Well, the the point is, I mean, first and foremost, I can barely tell the difference half the time. Too much Second, for you. Well, like, Fair enough. I'm still not really. I'm still not really a big fan of that like genre generally speaking however i'm willing to play cult of the lamb 
willing to compromise your morals for Cult of the Lamb? For cute sheep it action? Looks funny. It looks fun. It does. I'm, uh... I'm not normally the, uh... I'm also not normally the roguelike type, but I I fucks with Cult of the Lamb. It looks cute. I hear it's, you. Uh, oh, there you are. Yeah, so what was it? I, I also picked up Have a Nice Death, uh, and I thought that was... I actually didn't know that that was a, a roguelite or like, whichever, roguesque kind of game. Uh, I'm gonna replay the demo of Cult but, of the Lamb. Hmm. So good. Yeah, Cult of the Lamb looks, looks like it could be a Uh, Rose Wolf Pup, have you played Hollow Knight? Because normally I'm not super into them either, but I got super into Hollow Knight. Yeah, Metroidvanias aren't normally mine either, but I just like Hollow Knight's aesthetic enough. Truly, th this is the thing with me. Um... There's another Teru Teru Bozo around here somewhere. I just... I don't... Typically, I, I have just, I have genres that I like a lot. Like, I love ARPGs. I don't know if you can tell. Um, hmm. But uh, but I really like ARPGs. I like... Hey, baby doll. Thank you for the... Uh, oh, thank you for the bits. Hold on to your hats. Shit's about to get spooky. Uh, I like ARPGs. I like... Um, puzzle games. I like, I genuinely really like, much to the consistent surprise of most people I know, I really like FPSs. Um, I don't know why that's a consistent surprise. I don't know, it's just people keep being, uh, when I tell people like, oh yeah, I got, I, I really used to like Overwatch, I'm, I'm really sad that it's, that it's just if, not a viable game to play anymore. People will look at me and be like, you played Overwatch? And I'm like, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say one reason, which I think is a viable reason why people would be like, really? Is uh, you've been very open about your motion sickness issues, you know? Yeah, that might be part of it. And it's like, that's one of the reasons I why I usually forget that. you actually play, you know, uh, first person shooters every I once in a while. As long as there's, listen, as long as there's either no head bob or head bob I can turn off, I'm fine. Like like it's, this that's, like that's this is thing. fine. It's I, the it's the up and it's the slight up and down of walking around that gets me usually. Yeah, uh, see, I, I, I never forget that you like first person shooters because you're like one of the few people I know that like actively enjoys shooting guns. <laughs> Things I that go bang are fun. The RPGs are action RPGs. Your Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Ghostwire, your... I mean, DMC kind of fits in there a little bit. I love character... That's another genre that I fucking adore. I love character action. But, like, most of the time, I'm willing to, like... I'm willing to try a genre that I don't normally like. Like, I don't like uh, roguelikes, because I get really frustrated when I lose all my progress. But I really like Greek mythology, and I thought Hades was a cool take on it, so I really enjoy Hades. I don't really like Metroidvanias, because I'm not good at platforming, and the combat is just... tends to be hard, but I really like... Uh, but again, I really like Hollow Knight's theming and direction. So nine times out of ten, it's a case of, is the story or the theming interesting enough for me to keep going? If yes, then... Oh. Yeah, because, like, for me, Hades, I feel like, is the perfect roguelite game because, like, yeah, you do it over and over again, but you keep making story progress in some capacity each time, so it doesn't feel like a waste. And you can constantly work yeah, towards see. upgrading your shit to make it easier. And be I'm really picky see. with my roguelikes, because otherwise I feel like it's just, oh, just gotta go again. Um... See, I, f I feel like that's a I feel like that's a lot of people because I I'm 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 very much the same way when it comes to genres I'm not a big fan of but there's like a couple exceptions, for instance I'm not a big fan of first person shooters but I like Bioshock. <laughs> yeah, there's um, usually just something that's close enough to like oh this is my aesthetic I fucks with this that you just kind of. Yeah, I. Yeah, I uh, I'm not huge into Metroidvanias either, but I really liked Ori in the Blind Forest. And on top of that, I mean, hell, I, I'm always down to play Kirby's Amazing Mirror. 
<laughs> yeah, there's always, I think there's, I think for everyone there's always going there's to be always exceptions. There's always exceptions. There's always exceptions. But a couple of things. Uh, I want to make Brooke aware that I was talking to someone who doesn't know Brooke personally, and I went bug pables, and her response was the Brooke game, so I just, so just know your love of, love of bug pables has just transcended the, ga the friend group. Good. <laughs> I hope it gets more people to play it. That's the only reason that I, I talk about it so often. And also, uh, it's, uh, the net, it's a good Paper Mario game, reminiscent of, of one in, of, of the original in Thousand Year Door, with, uh, a really great story, and it's better than both of those games, so, you know, if you like cute pa bug paper aesthetics, and you like a good story with some well-fleshed-out main, uh, characters, then you're gonna have a good time. If you like turn-based, old-school, uh, RPGs. Welcome once again to a fun episode of Brooke Talks About Bug Fables. Yeah. Uh, I was also going to point out uh, something on the note of like genres and stuff for, Hang on. for video games. I want to hear what he says. Oh. Hang on. Let me go do the last... Let me do this and then the last one and then we can proceed. Oh, well. Yeah, no, then we can proceed. But yeah, um... So I, uh... On the notes of games that we're looking forward to and genres and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> I looked back at my Steam wish list and, like, the top game that I'm looking forward to is one called Billy Busta. Um, it's a very, it's a very cute little 3D platformer game about, uh, a little, little goat. Apparently there's gonna be, like, rhythm aspects to, to, like, boss battles and what have you, which seems cool. So I like, uh... Like under hero? Sort of, kind of. Um, but uh, no, I, I looked back at the tags and I saw Billy Bustup's tags go: adventure, three D platformer, exploration, character action game. Poggers! I'm like, what? <laughs> Thank you for explaining. For explaining it to me, the ghost of Heaton's dead wife. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on a spicy minute. After, after this... I want to know... I, I want to listen to those voice recordings. Because I... I think I understand what's happening, but I might just not have listened to the voice recordings, and that might be why I'm so fucking confused. Uh, let me... One more gear first. Uh, actually, I'm gonna hang out in... But yeah, I just I just thought it was really funny to look back and see fucking Billy Bust Up get described as character action game. I'm like, hold up, wait, what? So I'm looking forward to two of them now because I'm still looking forward to Evil West. <laughs> There's hope for me yet to get into this genre that you guys seem to really like so much. <laughs> we just have to I just have- we just have to provide you the right stimulus. I mean, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm already really looking forward to Evil West, which is by far the most character action, character action game that I'm looking forward to out of the two of them. But seeing Billy Bust Up get described as that, I was like, huh. Hang on. I mean, technically speaking, I probably already play a character Fuck. action game. I still need to run it by Avi, see what he thinks. All right, hang on, guys. I wanna, I wanna hear these. Wait, have you not been able to hear the game this entire time, guys? <laughs> guys! I didn't, I didn't know. I swear to God. I was watching through your screen share. I could hear the game just fine, but 
Fellas. <laughs> Fellas! <laughs> of course you were supposed to be hearing the game this whole time! <laughs> I swear to God. Thus far, I've been operating under the assumption that KK would be the one hearing these recordings. Only just now did I realize that that might not necessarily be the case. By this point, you can likely tell what sort of chap I am. On the other hand, I imagine you know little about Dale. How to describe him? Hmm. He's big. He's got a beard. And that's it. My apologies, I thought I'd have more to say. <laughs> but I honestly can't bring myself to care. Ouch. That's all I can do not to fall asleep recording this. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Rinko, I've reached the park as we'd planned, but Erica is nowhere to be seen. It's possible she may have gone somewhere else. I'll try my luck at another location. But, given the circumstances, I can't remain in Shibuya for long. I need you to understand, time is ticking. Even without Erika, I need to leave Shibuya. Previously, Erika had a particular question for me. She asked whether Affinity is genetically inherited. I told her that my data doesn't support such a conclusion. Or rather, that I simply haven't enough data to reach one. She didn't appear to be very satisfied with my answer. I have to say, though, the fact that you didn't allow her to fight? That may have been the wrong decision. That's the only real conclusion I can come to under these circumstances. <coughs> Okay. Erica wasn't here either. I hate to do this, but we're getting out of Shibuya while we can. Dale and I can't afford to die here. We must stick to the plan. You and Erica were like sisters, or even mother and daughter. A reclusive man like myself simply cannot fathom how one forms such a bond with a complete stranger. KK put it best. You cared too much about her. So much that you ended up denying the person she really is. Humans are troublesome. It's why I prefer talking into devices such as this one. Other people are simply too difficult to deal with. Regardless of relationship, that never changes. The cat game was the first. Guys! Dog, say psych. Say psych this instant! You had your game games muted for this long? Hang on a second.
so, future notice, guys, you you have to tell me. Uh, you you have to tell me. Uh, when you can't hear the game audio, uh, because it means that we can't save any of this VOD footage. <laughs> 